Hello everyone, my name is Michael SK and welcome back to 9 episode 4. And uh, well, you know, big spoilers here by the way, if you guys haven't watched the previous video, but we have defeated Iris, or at least I'm pretty sure we have. It's still a little hard to comprehend that we were able to take her down that easily. You know, it was such a triumphant fight that we had in episode 3 and we didn't even finish her off. We did not kill her in episode 3. But here we did, and it didn't feel as triumphant. Everyone did come together and pulled their weight, you know, had their part in the overall plan, including Takamine. Very surprised with him, very impressed with Kujo. Everybody did great. And obviously, Yuki had the finishing blow as expected. Everything worked out just too damn well. It's as if there's still something that is bound to, you know, mess with us here. Who's to say? But I guess we'll be finding out here shortly. And hopefully I don't record... Or I, let me rephrase that. Hopefully I don't upload this at the wrong time. I accidentally uploaded this nine hours before it was supposed to go live. Like an idiot. And, you know, haha, nine. Anyways, let us resume and see what we can get out of this recording session here. Two days later, I get a text while I'm with Noah. It's from Miss Narose telling me that she's better. So the two of us decide to go visit her. Probably a good idea, you know, she she unfortunately was the uh, victim in all of this. She didn't really have a say. The town is on the path to regaining normalcy, but it's still not completely back to how it was. I see more police officers on the streets. Even now, there are police cars passing by out on patrol. Them and the press. You can't take a step outside without them coming out of nowhere, asking all sorts of inconsiderate questions like, where were you during the terrorist attack, or were you scared? I don't know, I went straight home from school. That's what I would answer with, and the majority would lose interest and leave. They're probably after the people caught in the vortex of tragedy who lost parents or friends. Well, that's the media for you. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, you know. Everybody wants the attention. Everybody wants the views and the clicks. And how do you get it? With tragedy. Noah would grimace and mutter that every time she saw the press. It will probably be a while before the scars Iris left on this town heal, but there's a part of me that's relieved as well. I think the next goal that we have, yeah, now that I think about it, is now we just need to collect artifacts and close the big door that's connecting the worlds. After that, well, we're totally done. You know, the story's over. She barely has any memories from when Iris was possessing her. While she feels guilty that she indirectly helped Iris, she doesn't seem to be that worried about it since she doesn't have any memory of it. I would be worried that Miss Naruse would feel overly responsible over what had happened, but to see that she doesn't is a little relieving. I don't know if that's a... Uh, a bad thing, you know, to feel that way, but yeah, I mean, it's a complicated situation. I mean, if you were controlled, like you had no control over your body whatsoever, somebody was quite literally controlling you, whether it was plankton, you know, sitting on top of your brain, like literally moving you around, or you were wearing something that controlled your bodily movements and you were made to kill people. Obviously, it's not you making the choices, but it's your body that is performing the acts. Kind of the same deal here, uh, more on like the plankton sitting on the, you know, on the brain deal, but yeah, Miss Narase didn't really have any say. Probably all the better that she wasn't really conscious for any of it. You cannot blame her, honestly. Still, Miss Narase is an adult, so maybe she's just putting on a brave face. Even if she is just forcing herself to act cheerful, if that's what Miss Narase wants, then I should probably stop being so paranoid. We do have ourselves to worry about here. Careful what you say. She's always listening in. Yeah, should. Keyword is should. Yeah, 
ありがとね最悪の最悪にはならなかったい,いえ先生に話すべきかどうか迷っていてちゃんと話していたらもう少しだけ I wonder about that. I really do wonder about that. Yeah, no point. No point in talking about what ifs. What ifs are supposed to be my side of things here because, you know, I'm doing the commentary. Her eyes move from me to know. Oh, yeah, she doesn't know her. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. As I reel back bashfully, Noah bluntly affirms our relationship. Man, she's all soft and mumbly when it's just the two of us, but she seriously doesn't crack when there's people around. Ooh, oh my god, a teacher should not be asking her. Actually, speaking of the path to victory, I don't think we're near the end. Like, a part of it does feel like we are, like, in the end game because we're done with the big fight with Iris. We've already had a lot of, you know, romantic times here with Yuki. What more does this game have to offer? How much more does episode four have to offer to us here? She has a name. Yeah. What the fuck? Actually, you know what? I'm pretty sure, you know, instructors, especially in high school, they do gossip about that shit. Like, they quite literally gossip. They, they sit around and they talk about, you know, what the students are up to, what they have found out. It's, it's really weird. <laughs> I know that, by the way, because, like, I, I do have some acquaintances from high school, college, and such that are instructors to some degree. I don't think they go into, like, full, like, you know, into full gossip mode, but they do talk, I'm pretty sure. Who doesn't? I mean, shit, I talk with my coworkers all the time. If there's gossip to be had, there's, there's gossip to be had. It is what it is. Miss Narese waves and then goes back into her house. I shrug my shoulders and Noah giggles. Nodding, she waggles her arm, her sign that she wants to hold hands. I smile as I gently grab her hand. Well, we're not leaving quite yet, it seems. Sophie suddenly appears, and the two of us reflexively pull our hands away. Noah's cuddly aura deflates and disappears as I also straighten out my face. We're probably not in store for news we can listen to with our heads in the clouds. Oh no. Oh. 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 That is some strong trust. Wow. You know, a long way that Sophie has come here. But I guess, you know, it all makes sense. You know, her knowing here that we have a lot of uh, experiences from other branches. Oh, yeah. 
I forgot about that. That very important detail. Yeah, so I think the reason why we waited, or one of the reasons why we waited as much as we did, is we basically had to wait for Iris to make the strike because there was no way that we could draw her out. The world's eye was missing. It had been hidden or, or something. Well, the idea was that it was hidden. I'd like to assume that is the case because if not, well, we've got a mystery on our hands, don't we? This, however, yeah, this this is very, uh, this is a very interesting one, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. I really don't know how I feel about it. Because this means that we're not fully done. The mission... There, there's still a mission to accomplish here. Sure, the, the big bad guy is no longer around, but what they've done is still in effect. We don't know where the world's eye is, and, well, if that's out and about, you gotta wonder what could go wrong if we don't find it and bring it back here. Even though we have no idea what will or when we'll meet the next meet, if I can fucking read, uh, Sophie returns to her home world acting the same as usual. Oh, she's back. Oh, so that. Or so I think, but she pokes her head out from the rift. Oh, you're all good. Yeah, she did say that near the end of the previous video. I mean, it's not necessarily Sophie's fault. More, you know, another variation of her. Can you really blame Sophie? I don't think so. Because her character went down the path of good, where her other character, not so much. That isn't Sophie. As, you know, she has clearly stated completely different person with how far she had strayed off. Before we can even reply, Sophie disappears off into the rift for good this time. <laughs> what is she, the main character? With a smirk, she presents her hand. I firmly grasp it and we start walking. Firmly grasp- oh! I like this. That's a nice visual right there. できれば、もう何も起こらないでほしい。そうだな。街を巻き込んだ大事件とか、もう勘弁してほしいな。思い上がりだって分かっているけれど、もっと私に力があればって、俺もだよ。もっと正しい選択をできていたら、誰も知ら
things that bring nothing but sorrow, but I believe I can overcome them. I will keep walking on. With our friends, with the people we care for, we'll keep walking on. Is this the ending? Are we actually at the ending? This doesn't feel right. No, I, I really don't think we're at the ending. We never even had a tragic end here in this entire episode. There's always a tragic end. Kujo turning to Son, uh, Sora disappearing. Fuck, God damn it! Uh oh. Hey yo, hey yo, wait a, wait a freaking minute. What the fuck? What is happening? Those weren't credits, by the way. That I, I thought the entire time that that wasn't a credit scene. Oh, damn. You know, sucks that I can't understand what they're saying here. Was that Sophie? Was that Sophie? Whatever she... That was her talking, right? Why are we going back? Why are we going back? I don't want to go back. Why are we... Why are we back here? Why are we back here? What the fuck just happened? I thought... Game... Why are you doing this to me? Why are we back here? What is happening? By the way, that fucking... That scene back there scared the shit out of me. Yeah, I, I don't see any differences here in any of this, because... I mean, I just recorded this part last night. So what's going to happen here? Same shit. That's the same shit. Right? No, that's... This is all right. I remember all of this. This is this is exactly as I remember it. This is, this is all correct. Wait, can I skip it all? Is that... Nope, I can't actually. So it is as if like... These are different lines, or, or we're in, like, a different section here. There's gonna be a change somewhere here. I think- I think we just found the change. The majority of the infected have been freed of Iris's control and collapsed, but a handful of them remain standing still. They've turned to stone? Confusion sets in. Then I noticed something else. The only ones who have turned to stone are the infected facing a certain direction. Facing us. No, behind us. Why... Why is Yoichi here? Why are we in... Why did we go back to a point where now Yoichi is here and he's doing something? We hear a chipper voice that clashes with the situation. I think a part of me had a feeling. Everyone is shaken up. But as for me... Oh, I see. Okay. I think things make a little bit more sense now. I think part of me knew this would happen. Oh no. You gotta fucking hate this branch system we have going on here. This shit's broken. I mean, I guess if we can fucking use it to our advantage, why can't they, right? An alien plushie appears beside Yoichi. It's not Sophie, of course. Iris. Hi, Oishashibri. Oh. あなたたちにしてみれば、さっきぶりかしら。嘘でしょ。そんな。どうして確かに手応えはあった。間違いなく死んだはず。Yeah, this isn't an iris from our branch necessarily. I think this is about to get a little weird. Her ominous laugh sends shivers down our spines. Iris is mocking us for being so shaken up. 少し。
Yeah, we do need a little bit of an explanation. どうぞ。あなたたちにしてみれば、せっかく殺したのにすぐ復活したように見えるでしょうけど、私にとっては数百年ぶりなのよ。時間が欲しかったから、死んだふりしてみたの。Damn, so it's actually literally what we were suspecting back at the diner that she was just gonna wait until we were all dead before, you know, pulling the trigger with whatever it was she was doing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Damn. You know, fuck us, right? Noah clenches her fist in deep frustration. She wasn't able to kill Iris. I have no problem accepting that fact. After all, everything had been going too smoothly for comfort. I knew it too. I felt that deep down in my soul, I felt that something just wasn't fucking right. I didn't think that we were already at the end. Because, sure, the amount of videos that I've recorded so far for this playthrough were around 20, which I think was about the same for episode 3. I don't remember episode 2 or 1, but... You know, it just didn't feel like, even so we were around the uh, the video count, my videos have been shorter, and I'm pretty sure each of these episodes get slightly longer. We shouldn't be ending around this point. Like, there, there was just no way there. Plus, it just seemed like something was missing. Straight up. I guess that something was Yoichi's part in the story. But why? The reason why I'm so shaken up isn't because Iris is alive centuries in the making that's what she said so don't tell me that she's it, it can't be yeah she waited until we were dead and took our artifacts. How the fuck did we beat that then? <笑>あ、<笑> Oh, I guess she did that then. Never mind. I mean, same idea. She's still gonna fuck with us now that she basically has that ability. I bite hard on my lip. I can taste blood. The one who screwed up he here is me. I ended up telling Iris that Overlord actually exists. And because of that, I gave her time to prepare against us. Time to feign her death, lull us into a false sense of security, and create her own Overlord. Oh, you're fucked up. She's just a little crazy. This is why you shouldn't live past, like, 150, you know? Once you go beyond that number, it's so jover. <laughs> yes, we are. Okay. Well, well, hold on. Yeah, we can cut that short, but I want to get into the explanation on you here, Yoichi. Yeah, great. Yeah, saw that one coming. Takamine walks away from us and stands next to Yoichi. I mean, I'm not. We all shouldn't really be either. Again, not really much of a surprise when he literally told us back in the diner. Oh my god. I fucking called it. You guys know that I called that shit. You know, me saying like, oh man, I'm sure he's got a fucking artifact that we actually don't know about or whatever because god damn, there was no way that he should have been able to survive a whole lot of the shit he went through. 
立て闇ガラス I helplessly crumpled to the ground. What did he do to me? Everything went blank for a second. Damn it, Takamine was a user too. Now I should have noticed something earlier. If I think back, Takamine has been able to recognize Sophie's presence. I'm such a goddamn fool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, 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 was, a, that was a big fucking clue. I guess I keep on forgetting about the fact that nobody could see Sophie or interact with Sophie as she is. You know, without being a user, that's sort of her cloak. Wow. Fucking wow. Takamine has got to be the biggest fucking idiot in this goddamn series. Fresh blood flies through the air. Takamine starts to slowly stagger in place. Jesus Christ, man. How the tables have fucking flipped, actually. God damn. Well, here's that tragedy I've been wondering about. Yeah, even episode one was pretty fucked up. レイヤのアーティファクト。私は顎で使うの。あなたくらいよ。ま、いいけれど。味方をしてくれた人に何てことを。だからそういうのいいって熱苦しいな。さあ、I <笑> Damn it. My body won't move. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. <laughs> God damn. All right. All right, how far are we going back? We're not going really that far back at all. Yep, here we go. It's been a while since we've done this. I instantly bark out an order. He turned us to stone in an instant. Iris has given Yoichi the other eye. As long as he has both of them, avoiding looking at Yoichi is the best we can do. お好きにどうぞ。何を言ってる。そのまんまだよ。抵抗しないし、石にもしない。僕を殺していいよ。どうぞ。ああ、そっか。かけるそういうタイプだったっけ？I don't really understand the point of all this. Why is he doing this? So he just goes with the flow. So he's willing to work with evil, but not good. He says he doesn't want to get involved, but he does anyway. And now he doesn't care. He doesn't care what happens to him. Will she hold back? Do what? What are they planning here? Oh, we're going back. Oh, man. Man, it kind of sucks when we don't really have a fucking choice in the matter here. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work this time. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work this time. 
ニッシュメント結界もういいよありがとう自分でやり直すとこうなるわけねよくわかったジーズスクライスマンたとえ死んでも私が巻き戻してあげる安心して好きにやりなさい安心ね失敗をなかったことにできるのはいいけど一度は痛い思いしなくちゃいけないのは微妙だなあと記憶の復元頭痛するのもなんとかしてよ I think that's just something you get used to because eventually Kakadu wasn't like he wasn't experiencing the pain or at least wasn't making noise whenever we reset he kind of just went with it それは私にもどうにもならないわよ自分でなんとかなさいなはいはいじゃあ死なないように頑張るしかないね徹底的にやるよ OK <笑> Scarlet winds blow fiercely engulfing us Wait this power ダメだなこれ派手なだけだやれることが多すぎて迷うなどうしてイリスの力を話す必要はある剣族家か違うわよそんなのと一緒にしないでだから話が長いんだよ警察が来る前に終わらせる And they are probably on their way. 手っ取り早いのがいいならこれかな He points at Sora and quickly draws a line in the air He couldn't be Sora! 逃げ Well, goodbye, Sora. Oh, that's sad. That's really sad. Well, time to do the old redo again. Oh, man. I don't like this, guys. I feel like we're in a fucking tight ass corner here. This sucks. This is rough. Hey, yeah, wait, what the fuck? Why the fuck? Why is, why is her name in Japanese? What the fuck? <laughs> that was weird. Okay. That was a very odd one. Make it in time. My arm, fuck my arm. Damn, there's, there's no winning here. We're actually kind of, we're kind of stuck in a corner here. Yes, I'm not going to be able to get it. Oh, my. Ah, shit, I feel sick. I'm gonna pass out. Can't call out Lena. Nope, barrier. And goodbye, Kujo. God damn, man. This is rough. 喉を切られると自分の血で溺れるって言うけどそんな感じだったね Stop it, damn it, please stop じゃあ次ね<笑>怯えてる子を痛めつける趣味はないんだよなせめて一瞬で終わらせてあげるよ You see, in episode 3 Everybody kind of just died, you know, right then and there It was hopefully a painless death、うん Here, this is one by fucking one. That, that is painful for everybody here. But probably the most painful for Kakadu, who just has to witness all this shit. And that shit's gonna stick with him. Yeah. She doesn't even get a chance. Jeez, man. <laughs> Come on. Ugoku, I tell you, 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 I tell you
なんか寝てるしかけるも顔真っ青だね片腕なくしちゃったらそりゃそっかなんでなんでこんなこ<笑> Yuichi turns his back to me without replying. Siren no to chikaina. Jikangi deko. Kakeru igai wa koroseta shi. Jubun kana. Jane. Boku wa iku yo. Yuichi! Iris. Hai hai. Sore jane. Mata imashu. Well, at least we've returned to English with her. Ana kato kokoro ga orete inakata. Okay, I guess he could just do that shit too. That was a little weird. The two of them vanish. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. I desperately crawl. Uh oh. I'm losing too much blood. My body is weak. My eyes. Okay, I guess I'm not reading that. This was supposed to work. Everything should be over. Sora, Kujo, Kosuka, Takamine. And even Noah. Oh, we're gonna need more than Overlord for this shit. Overlord will not work here anymore. I keep crawling forward. I already know. I know. I know that I have no other choice but to rewind. But just wait. Just hold on a little while longer. Finally, I reach Noah. I managed to lift her up with my one arm. Oh yeah, we're one armless. Oh man. That's a fucking grim scene. She groans and stirs slightly. She's still breathing. She's still alive. That's the worst part of it all, actually. She has to suffer. I know that it's already hopeless here. But. Leaving everyone. Leaving Noah here like this. I can't bring myself to do it. But at least, at the very least, I want our final moments as lovers to be together. She reaches her blood-soaked hand over to my cheek and touches it. Oh man, I hope. Especially in episode 4 of all places. Oh, you better believe we will. I don't know in what sort of way, but we will. We will be there. Well, that shit was sad. That was really fucking sad, actually. Bro, just jump back, please. Please just jump back already. You're hurting yourself more. I tightly clutch Noah in my arm. I'll have to redo things from, he from before we had met each other. I promise I'll protect you. Count on it. Yes, bro, please just go. Okay. <laughs> that was quick. I didn't really have uh, control of the uh, of the speed that we were progressing there, or the fact that fucking copyrighted ass music was playing either. Alrighty. Hello, Sophie. Nice to see you again. Honestly, I I really enjoy Sophie's design for some reason. Swarms my heart. Especially after all the crazy, batshit, insane stuff that we just came across, but... Alrighty, gamers. Uh, I think we're gonna call it there. What's our graph looking like? Um... Not good. Not good. Not good whatsoever. We're, we're gonna need a whole nother line over here. <laughs> this, this one won't do anymore. Um, now I don't really know what the fuck we're gonna have to do here. This is kind of a complicated one because... Well... Yeah, I mean, we're quite literally backed into a corner. I think that's the best way to describe it. We are put into a position where uh, we have to basically reverse to a point where I, I, I guess Yoichi doesn't even have one of the eyes. And we need to get to a point where, you know, before, you know, the century long journey that Iris has gone on, uh, this is... This is going to be a tough one, honestly. I really don't know the best way of tackling it because, theoretically, they could also just redo things back to a point prior, right? I'm sure they could. They could do some weird shit, I'm, I'm fairly certain. So, what can we do different? I don't necessarily know. I think, you know, keeping the fact that Overlord exists, you know, keeping that a secret would be good. 
Uh, maybe imprisoning Yoichi would also maybe be good. I don't know how we're going to do that. Uh, there's probably some, some pretty strong ways that we can go about everything here, but Iris is such a, a very unknown variable, as we've seen here in this episode. Once she kind of saw how weird we were acting here and what she can observe through other branches, sure, we can make another fucking branch, but she can just observe the shit that went down in the other one. The one that we just, you know, jumped out of, so... Where does that put us? I don't know. I don't really know how best we can tackle this. But I'm sure Kakadu here, or Nine, or Sophie, somebody here, is bound to come up with with something. You know, the day will be saved somehow, but I will admit, damn am I, I, I am so happy. Damn am I happy that it's not going to be as simple as it seemed here. This was not the end, and there is much more to come, which is cool. You know, it doesn't seem like they're trying to shoehorn in an extension of the story here. No, this is just showing how unbelievable Sophie, or not Sophie, Iris can be here. How much she's willing to go through in order to be such a pain in the ass. It's crazy. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that fancy jazz. Absolutely zero idea where things will go from here. But I hope you guys will tune into the next one. Take it easy.